And uh, Steve, one other issue I wanted to get to, and that is the big news concerning uh, David Vitter and uh, the potential financing of his campaign for governor. What happened? <laughs> Well, uh, this past week, I think it was Thursday or Friday, uh, the uh, district court, federal district court, uh, came up with a decision saying that his um, organization, his super PAC, or the super PAC that has been put together by uh, a gentleman from Washington, D.C., named uh, Spies, uh, for bidders, uh, say, state or federal run, would be able to had, have unlimited uh, amounts of money, contributions, for the upcoming uh, governor's race. And, uh, and so, you know, those people who are, uh, say, in favor of uh, David Vitter probably are elated. Those people who, you know, are for uh, Jay Darden or maybe, you know, someone else are not very happy about it. And, uh, you know, to me, there's a much larger issue here that all of us should be very concerned about. Well, tell us about that. What's the uh, larger issue? Well, I mean, basically, uh, what, what is happening here is that, you know, uh, the $5,000 limit uh, that the state has imposed is deemed to be unconstitutional. And so that means a candidate running for state office would be able to solicit unlimited amounts of money for their state run. And uh, so, I mean, we can pretty much kiss state rights uh, goodbye as far as this decision is concerned. And what really, you know, bothers me about mm. this is that you know uh, David Vitter? Like, and I mentioned this before. David Vitter was a person that was uh, that brought term limits term limits to the state of Louisiana, and uh, you know that means that you know the large component of that uh, term limits is is taking the power away from those who have been in, who have been vested with power to give other people a chance. So what this means is that somebody who wants to run for governor or any office really ought to go to Washington, D.C., you know, become a con congressman or a senator or, you know, say a, a, uh, a, uh, an employee for, you know, one of them, uh, make those, you know, large federal contacts, national contacts, come down to Louisiana because, you know, you're going to have an unlimited amount of money coming in for your campaign. Imagine, you know, last year, uh, at least through what, in 2012, uh, Jindal raised, I think it was uh, $12 million. Uh, John Georges was going to put down, uh, did put down $10 million for a run. What was reported was that uh, uh, Bollinger was going to, uh, was, uh, would be willing to put down $150,000 uh, uh, for this uh, campaign for for, uh, for Vitter. Um, I just don't see how anything like this, you know, and, and it's because of the Citizens United case. Are you talking about Boise Bollinger of Bollinger Shipyards? You yeah. said 150000 You mean $150 million? No, $150,000. Uh, you know, the, the cap, I'm sorry, the cap is 5000 So 150000 and uh, so, you know, that means that um, a, a doctor uh, out, of, uh, out of New Orleans who has a business, I think a, a medical business, also has already, already put down, I think, uh, he and his wife, 200000 and are now going to uh, pump more in. So sure uh, how much do you think this thing can raise? Oh. For better. I mean, think Tens of millions? It. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, easy, easily. Easily, and, and he can and, use it all. He can use it all for his governor's race. He can so use the governor's race, or, 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 well, it's not. Let me let me make a a, uh, a stipulation, and that is that um, he can't use it. Okay, it's not his money, according to you know the law. And the judge says, well, you know, there's you know, there's no proof that there has been any kind of control 
mm. uh, by the the bitter bitter people um, of, of this pack. So it's not his money. However, you know, I don't believe I don't believe that to be the case. I saw what happened. We all saw what happened during the presidential election uh, and the super PAC money. And uh, you know the tying in between those those major funders and the campaigns. I mean, you know, it was a joke when uh, the the gentleman from the, the the billionaire from Las Vegas ended up on the stage after pumping God knows how much money into Santorum's race, and then he ended up on the stage with uh, Santorum during a, 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 a victory uh, 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 night. I forget, South Carolina maybe? Uh, I forget where it was. No, he was a big, uh, he was a big funder of Gingrich, uh, Sheldon. No, At yeah, uh, Adelson. Adelson, yeah. But, and then he wound up giving a lot of money to Romney uh, in the end. No, I, I think, well. And then he uh, now was just interviewing uh, potential Republican candidates in 2016. Right. So he's going to be like a. I guess a power broker uh, in this upcoming uh, election. So um, yeah, okay, he's so, a big, so, yeah. big donor. Mm -hmm. so, so basically, what it means, as far as I'm concerned, is that uh, you can really kiss democracy goodbye. It's not a question of one man, one vote anymore. Uh, not this U.S. Senate race. Not the Louisiana governor's election. Uh, you can do this for any election. Dog catcher. You know, it's not about democracy anymore. It's about big money, big control. And I think we all should be scared. It's not a Republican Democrat thing. I well, mean, I mean, look uh, in, uh, look at uh, New York. You had a billionaire Bloomberg. Sure, uh, he Bloomberg. spent uh, uh, unlimited uh, amount of money to get himself uh, elected. Uh, we've had, uh, you know, big money people uh, with success sometimes, but also uh, not success, like John George's. He's not been able to uh, win, even though he had uh, oodles and oodles of money. Yeah, so usually, usually the candidate with the most money wins, but not all the time, Steve. Well, yeah, I, I understand, but you know, if you're talking about a cap of five thousand dollars, and now unlimited amount of money, and uh, and and the money could very well come from out, else outside of Louisiana. I mean, are you are you saying that Louisiana voters therefore really don't have uh, the the type of rights that you would want them to have at, at the uh, ballot. Well, I'm saying this. It, uh, you had a guy who tried to buy an election uh, twice. He ran for governor and mayor and has failed both times. Uh, so you're not necessarily going to be able to buy the voters. So uh, sure, I think uh, Jay Darden still has a chance. I think uh, you shouldn't write off anybody because of this. Uh, and and is a decision going to be appealed? Let me ask you this. Uh, is it? Uh, over? I mean, is the whole case over now with this uh, judge's decision, or is it uh, moving on? Are they appealing it? Um, I have not heard whether or not it's going to be appealed or not. Uh, you know, basically, the ethics board had uh, said that they could not allow uh, this money, uh, the uh, uh, this pack, to be able to use the money, and uh, and so. Uh, you know, now it looks like the feds are saying no. You, uh, uh, you have to, and so whether or not the ethics board, anybody else who would have standing, would take the case up to the appellate court, you know, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, but I, how I, much I, money is in the pack right now? Do we know? Um, I no, I I personally don't don't know. I I, I don't know. It could be uh, 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 three four hundred thousand. Uh, I I, mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. But uh, what I do know is that it's a, it's an uh, offensive uh, way to, as far as I'm concerned, for any one person to be able to receive uh, just unlimited amount of money from wherever, and uh, for this campaign. I mean, so circumventing the limits that we have here in Louisiana for our donors through this pack. And, and you think uh, having an, uh, a very unfortunate influence on our state elections which previously uh, hadn't been seen before. Well, yeah, this, I mean, this I, is the first, right? This, this in Louisiana, sure, absolutely. Uh, uh, in terms of modern times that I know of, at least. And now, some say that the limits, as far as state uh, elections, uh, are are too stringent; that they need to be uh, raised. Okay. 
Well, and maybe this would be a good motivation for people to raise those limits. Yeah. Uh, and, and look, I, I, I certainly believe in, a, in a, uh, a, a level playing field, and, and you better believe that, uh, you know, say a Democrat running uh, against, uh, say, somebody is going to uh, use, you know, uh, the same amount of money. The Republicans were, were uh, blasting uh, 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 Carolyn Fayer. If you remember a couple of years ago, because she you know, received money, uh, uh, I believe you know through the Democratic Party from her dad. Okay, right. so if, if you're complaining, if you're complaining about influence, then right. you got to complain about it, you know, across the board, and not just when it's to your own benefit. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of people uh, don't know what's going on here, haven't really even uh, seen the impact of this, because the race really hasn't started. And uh, don't know if this is the final conclusion uh, of this uh, issue or not.